The meeting was to engage with provincial leaders to find ways to progress the country. Past experiences have shown that provincial leaders were left out of the dialogue process, resulting in misunderstanding on various issues. The government is now taking proactive steps to resolve this. Isipi Governor Alan Baird and Northern Governor Gary Jufa were pleased with the initiative taken by the acting Prime Minister Charles Abel. Because things haven't worked well in the past in terms of the relationship between the national government and the provincial governments, that doesn't mean that the system is no good. I think nowadays with much better educated governors, and I'd say the same for generally members of parliament, you, you have a great opportunity to agree on how to make things work. In terms of the concerns that we have and how we can work together to find solutions, for a lot of the problems that we as a nation are facing. Both leaders want to see a more diversified economic sector and effective public service machinery that can help develop their local economy. Mr. Bird is keen on the agriculture sector as a development tool. Because if you want to diversify the economy, the question is where do you start? For me, it's always been agriculture. If you want to improve educational indicators, support agriculture. If you want to improve health care, support agriculture. While Norton Governor Gary Jufa spoke of the reforms to be undertaken in his province to bring about change, he also wants to see several functions of the government decentralized to the provincial level. Our interest in, in our province is to look at how we can ensure that with the, with the cuts being made to DSIP and PSIP, at least we still get the government grants that we're entitled to that they reach the provinces on time. We are looking at restructuring our administration, the public service machinery. How do we rebuild that organization so that it can be an effective machinery for delivering the development agendas that we have? Mickey Cavera, NBC National News, Port Moresby.